Welcome to the International Space Station. I'm NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei. Today, we're going to talk about Newton's third law. How do you think it will hold up in microgravity? For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This means that in every interaction between two objects, there are a pair of opposite forces acting on each object at the same time, a force pair. You can see that there are many examples on Earth. In space, thrusters expel one way and the vehicle is steered in the opposite way. Hello again, more basketball stunts that I can't do on the ground, at least not while getting this much hang time. <laughs> All right, back to serious business. Got a basketball right here. It's gonna be object one. I'm the second object. If object two, myself, applies a uh, force to object one, then that same force will be applied according to Newton's third law by object one onto object two. However, there's a big disparity in the mass. Object one is a very light mass object. Object two, myself, is, is a larger mass object. So I'm gonna try to make myself about the same shape as this ball. See how that works for us. And I'm gonna apply that force. You saw that force applied to the ball made it accelerate quite a bit. It really didn't accelerate me much at all. Newton's third law again, but this time we're gonna use two similarly mass objects. Joe and I have about the same mass. So Joe, get into a ball, I'll do the same. I'm gonna face you this way so that I don't throw you into something you can't see. Right. Now I'm gonna get into a ball behind Joe and I'm gonna apply a force to him. Notice that the, when I applied a force to Joe, it, pushed, it accelerated Joe away from me, but I got accelerated away from him as well because the force applied to Joe ended up being the same force that was applied to me. Now you've seen Newton's third law in space. Now test it out on Earth. See you next time. Subscribe for more space. space.